Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Cinquanta Cocksmith of www.cinquantacocksmith.com. Smile for me. Today I'm here with another video and now how to start a stationary business series. And today we'll be talking about creating products on printed mint. We'll be creating a candle and a clear mug. Now I may or may not go ahead and create the sock and I may or may not go ahead and order the sock. Like I told you guys in the very beginning, I am trying to stay under $200 to get like all of the samples for the things, but I saw the sock and I was very intrigued. May or may not design it and go ahead and order it. So if you're new here to my channel, make sure you hit the notification bell and hit the subscribe button to be notified every time that I release a new video. So I'm gonna go over to Printed Mint and I am going to tell you guys that I cheated a little bit. I went ahead and already did my two templates on Canva for the mug and the sock. I already had one for the candle because I've created the candle before as you guys have probably seen in another video. So when you get to Printed Mink and you create your account, they have all of the products here. I'm just gonna go ahead down to the products and I'm gonna hit new products just cause I know the candle is mentioned in the new products. And once you find the product that you want, you're just gonna click on it here it tells you all of the specs about the candle the size the price how you can design it like natural dyes and things like that and it also tells you the burn time and it tells you the available fragrances along with the file type that you need in the actual size so here is the size here for the candle we're going to go back to printed mink and we're going to go down and hit design product I already have my um, my brand name and the size of the candle and I just put smells like money because I'm doing the word small business owner. So I'm just gonna add that on here and then I'm gonna go ahead and download this file. I'm gonna download that and then I'm gonna go over, back over to Print It Make and I'm gonna go ahead and upload that file. You can go ahead and hit upload file. I'm gonna go to my downloads then I'm gonna go ahead and upload this. Now, this is where you can tell if it's the correct size, if you need to do something different. To me, this is pushing it a little bit, but it still will print it out. But just to be on the safe side, I wanna move the Smells Like Money and the nine ounce up just a little bit more so we're, you know, we're not running into any issues when it comes to printing this candle. And I'm pleased, okay? So move it up just a little bit. All right, I might make that nine ounce just a tad bit smaller. Okay, there, now I'm gonna download that again and I'm gonna re-upload this design to my file here. So just gonna hit the X to delete that, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that, and then I'm gonna add in the new one. So I'm gonna go to my downloads and then found my second file. And we're gonna see how that one looks on our candle, okay? So that looks much better, right? So I am pleased with that. And this is where you get to choose your scents and things like that. So this time, I feel like I need birthday cake. Birthday cake smells like money in my opinion. So I'm gonna hit next, but I think you can also choose all, you can choose all of the designs when, I mean all of the, you can choose all of the scents when you go to basic create your store. And I have that video in here. So you can download images so that you have pictures for your brand. So I'm done with that. And now I'm gonna hit finish. All right, so, and it's in my shopping cart. Basically says candle, hand pour, and I get, and I'm getting birthday cake. So now I wanna create some more products. So I'm gonna go down to the mug. So where it says mug and drinkware. And I'm gonna find the clear mug. So that's the one that I'm interested in creating. So here's the glass mug. And again, it shows you all the specs, design one or two-sided design, 
clear glass tells you the size and all of the specs it's microsoft microwave safe and all of that great stuff and it's transparent as you see so i'm going to go ahead and hit design and i'm just probably going to upload the small business i really want like white not sure but i feel like i want white oh sorry i didn't even design it so i think i want white on this mug not completely sure but I feel like the white will stand out. So. What I am going to do is I'm going to get a line just so I can make sure, kind of like when I do my journals, make sure that I am spacing these things out correctly. So I only have to do it once. Right, so I have it at the 90 degree angle. And that's in the middle. So. Just trying to make sure I can see. That looks to be even on both sides. So I'm going to make this transparent i'm going to download this and then i'm going to hit the transparent button here and download that design then i'm going to go back over to printed mint and i'm going to upload this design and this is when we're get to see if i eyeballed it right <laughs> so let's see I feel like it looks good. So let's check it out. Okay, it looks like it could be over a little bit more on each side. So like it could be closer to the edge. All right, so let's go here and let's bring that out some. And then let's bring this one out some. Download again. And this is just one of those things that you pretty much have to eyeball it to see what exactly what you want so now i'm going to go back to the editor we're going to get rid of these designs and we're going to upload the new one and this is just something sometimes you have to do this until you get it correct because you want your customers to receive something that looks good that's not off center so this is just one of those things you have to do especially when you're trying to create something nice for your your customers so i'm going to hit finish and then we're going to check it out again and see what it looks like okay now that looks really good that looks like it's centered on both sides Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say I approve this design. And then that is added to my card as well. So the mug is $9. And now I'm just, just for, you know, just because I'm gonna check out the socks and I'm gonna see what I can do with the socks. And I know it says sublimation, okay? So it says the same design printed on both sides, sublimation. Got the size here and I'm going to go ahead and design the product. So I have the socks here and I was just going to like do a black background and I was going to do the small business owner words like slant it to the side to see if I like that. Let's see. So I was going to like put it here. But I kind of want to write the words out. So let's go ahead and get the text because I kind of want to write the words out. Okay, let's make this bigger. Let's change the font. Let's turn it to the side. And, all right, small business owner.
so let's see what that looks like in the middle and then I'm going to download this not going to do transparent background because I kind of want to see what it looks like all black so we're going to go ahead and upload this image I'm going to go to downloads find our sock I'm going to upload it and see what it looks like on the actual design oh I did really good with that tip right there so that's that and now let's look at the back side and let's see if that design is too big or too small for the back we may have to do something different for the back yeah so let's just do the back with the actual you know small business design like this and let's put that right there so this would be the back I'm going to download that and then we're going to go back to our crew socks and, hit. and now we're going to upload the back I'm going to insert that that looks good so I'm going to hit next and then this will let us see what it looks like so we can decide if this is how we want to go about it okay so this is the front I wonder why it has like this edge of white even though I chose black for like the whole design and I wonder if that's something I'll have to worry about when it's printed but I kind of like the small business owner in the back here and I do like it going down the front. So I might end up ordering it just to see if this is a fluke in the system when it comes to this extra little white outlining as well. So that was the finish. Hit finish and add this to the cart. The socks cost 12 bucks. So all together, I would spend probably about $40 ordering all of this stuff for you guys. And the next video you'll see about printed mink in the small business owner stationary uh, business series is me unboxing the product. So that's when you'll get to see if I ordered the socks or not, but I'm definitely ordering the mug and the candle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I love you more than I love this video. Peace.